Oh no, what's that? Burn corpse. Okay. Must help cut down on like disease. Oh, that used my torch. As night turns today, your character is easily visible to enemies. Patrols will send to your location soon. Additionally, scavenging is exhausting work, and soon your character will be unable to run from the guards. Okay, I, I want to go back, but I gotta find that last cloth. Let's check this last place, and then we'll boogie out of here. Get out of here. Run! Yeah, this is also very much like uh, this war of mine. Or war of ours, or whatever that game was called. Yes. The night was calm. The night was calm, but the enemy assault can move any day, and we must prepare for it. You should use this chance to help the soldiers. Yep. What I'm trying to do. I need to make a, a bed. Do I talk to him about making a bed? Seems Burnham's feeling much better. The loss of his family has had a crushing impact on him that only time will fully heal. Nevertheless, finally, the carpenter has recovered from the shock and is ready to rejoin the fight. It was Flint, right? He asked. I remember you visiting my workshop once or twice with Galvik. Uh, thanks for your help. Now we should take care of the animals and find fresh water. Burnham is right. Fresh water is the paramount in the Stroke of bad luck, the castle well took a direct hit from the perpetuates. Still, maybe the clear way, maybe if you clear a way for the debris, you might repair it somehow. You gotta try. You've unlocked a second character. You can switch between characters with the tab key, or by selecting them directly with the left mouse. Okay, so this guy, Lint, um, is tired, and he also needs a bandage. Let's see here. I don't see any way to make a bed. Keep, maybe make them in here. Sleep and regeneration. You can build beds in the keep to ensure better rest for your survivors. Bed rest also gives faster recovery for wounded and sick. Remember, you also have to give them bandages and medication for their condition is serious. Yeah. 
Let's make a bed. Oh, and that's where we we're going to fix the well. See what we need for it. What's this do? Slow down game time. You remove the debris blocking the well. Sadly, to no avail, the well's base has been crushed by the trebuchet projectile. The shaft itself is blocked. There's no way for you there's no way you could clear it out without dying of thirst. Perhaps you can find some portable water in the city. Mark it under the cover of darkness. It's risky, but it's the best chance you have. Maybe we'll be able to fix it later. Or build one. Maybe we'll be able to build one. Uh, yes, I played Dragonfall Inquisition. Is Greedfall's combat similar? Yes. It is similar but it is super shallow. It's kind of the problem with Greedfall in general is the whole game is super shallow. You need to manage your animals. They can be very useful alive. For example, well-fed chickens lay eggs. To feed the animals, select the food, a food edible for them using the left mouse, drag it, blah, 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 bar to the right shows the substance of the animal. If you run out of food, you can kill the animals to obtain meat. My pigs are very hungry, so I can slaughter them or I can feed them. Oh, well, they eat <laughs> they'll eat rotten food. They are pigs. They are pigs. Beat him up. Yeah, the the combat in Dragon Age is not great. It's a little better if you play like a magic class. Um but oh god, not all of those. What am I thinking? But yeah, I agree. I think Dragon Age combat is a little shallow as well. And um Greed falls is, is is just as bad. Alright, we'll make two bit we'll make two beds since we have two guys. What's this do? Tutorial. Bastion. You can see reports about upcoming enemy assaults. Sometimes you will need to scout behind enemy lines to be to actually obtain this information. Okay. Use this screen to pass supplies to the Bastion. They will be packed and transferred by active character once you confirm your choice. Sure to check the defender's needs every day. Here you can check how to how the defense is going. You, you can see the remaining defenders and their equipment. Your ultimate task is to keep the bastion well prepared for incoming attacks. Then arrows to the defenders to increase the chances of survival.
Oh, maybe he's going to do it after. I think Bertram is going to do it after. Yeah. Uh, I want you to sleep. Sleep. Yeah, no, the combat in Greedfall is not great. Uh, if you don't like Dragon Age combat, you're not going to like Greedfall combat. And then, yeah, like I, you said, I, I don't like Greedfall. I think that the story is was dumb. For a story-heavy RPG, the story is dumb. <laughs> the character characters are all very unlikable. It's kind of... Oh, there's a makeshift bandage. That's what uh, that guy needs. He's still sleeping. I think it's nighttime now. Oof. In house. Oh, must have, we must have eggs ready. The night has come. This guy's sad. Uh, you can sleep in a bed. And you'll scavenge the city. I guess we're going to go back here. Um, I don't think we'll put that on him. We'll just go with nothing. Don't really have anything, so... This time we're, we're really looking for water. Or some. And maybe like materials, like building materials. So we'll take the wood. I don't want the valuables. Shovel. enough wood dirty water Got your back. hey sloth thank you so much for the tier one sub for three months in a row really appreciate it thank you for the support also good morning how's your week going I haven't talked to anybody like all week. good 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 to hear I'm great uh, we went Monday we went to my daughter on my daughter's field trip which was just to like a park here in town um, 
but they needed help. Like the teacher got a hold of all the parents and was like, hey, I've got like 34 kids that we have to take care of and I can't do it by myself. And so my wife and I volunteered to like help. Uh, and that was, that was fun. But man, 34 kids is a lot of kids. So what we did was like every parent brought a different activity uh, to like share with the kids. And I brought, um, I don't need that much wood. Uh, I brought this like toy archery set. So I was teaching all the kids how to like shoot a bow. And that was fun. And then my wife did face painting. Well, there are two teachers. Uh, there, there's 34 kids, but they're split into two different uh, classes. So there were two teachers and then parents that came and helped. And yeah, my fate, my wife did face paintings and she did all for 34 kids in one day, which was crazy. Uh, and then I was teaching them how to do archery. And then at one point they were like, you want to teach the kids how to play football? And I was like, does someone want to teach me how to play football? <laughs> like, I don't know how to, I don't know how to do any of that. Um, but it was fun. It was, uh, I was telling my wife at one point, I was like, I'm really surprised how just mouthy some of the kids were. Like I, I did, I had a lot of fun teaching them um, how to shoot a bow, but some of the boys would just be like, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shoot my buddy with this bow. And I'd be like, no, 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 that's like against the rules. We don't do that. Can only shoot the target that I brought. And they'd be like, no, I'm gonna do it anyway. And so I'd have to like take the bow from them like, get out of here, you little punk. And then they, you know, get real mouthy. But other than that, it was, it was a lot of fun. You enter what appears to be an abandoned cottage. Inside, you find an old man in torn clothes sitting by the bed and sitting by the bed in the corner of the chamber. Someone is stretched out on the bed. It takes you a moment to realize the person on the bed is in fact a burnt corpse, half covered with some old sheets. The old man is sitting by the bedside, sobs uncontrollably. He seems drunk. The cottage is poor, but you notice some of the man's belongings that could be useful. I can rob the old man, or I can leave him to grieve. <laughs> Kids have changed. I maybe. That was the thing. Anytime I complained about any of them being mouthy, like my wife would be like, "You were the same. You were just as bad." But it was only like two or three boys. Like out of 34 kids, I was, I was surprised that only like I only had to get on to like two or three of them. Most of them were like super go-getter and they were positive. And then like I would, ch and I was actually surprised how many of them picked up the bow so well. Like you would show them how to shoot, and most of the kids would just instantly. I mean, they looked like Hawkeye. They were just like, "Yeah, I got it." <laughs> was like uh yeah yeah you seem to have it <laughs> good job i love that the two options here are rob him or be nice yeah we're gonna let him grieve you make your way out when the old man suddenly shouts glory for the midland you exit the building when you take a look back you see him leaving as well he brings the corpse out wrapped in sheets and heads to the backyard to bury the body Looks like he had moved past his darkest moment. I'm hoping that guy will come and join us. Yeah, it was it was a lot of fun, uh, and I'm glad we like find up and the teacher was like so thankful because she was like I was gonna have to cancel if no one like showed up to help. My son has one. Uh, my son has one in like a couple of weeks out at the lake at, uh, here in town, but I don't think we'll be going to that one because they don't need us. The enemy assault approaches. We must get ready for the worst. The enemies are preparing to attack and we need to support our soldiers to help them stop the assault. Yeah, I know. All right, I know this guy is tired. 